speeding up your computer must be one of the most common questions IT guys get asked and there's a number of ways you can speed up your computer and in this instance I'm going to show you how you can look at the programs that start up when your computer starts. Some of them run in the background and they actually slow things down a bit. Some of them you need like the antivirus, anti-spam, firewall, networking, things like that you need. However, things like say the Adobe Reader like this here for looking at PDFs. You don't need that running in the background all the time. You can just start it when you need it. So I'm going to use a thing called the system configuration utility. I'm going to click on start, run, and here you want to type in msconfig. Now obviously I've used it before so it's already there so I'm just going to click on OK. And you get this dialog box come up and across here you'll see that it's got things like the startup which is the one that we want and you've got some programs down here that one there is my firewall that one there actually controls my keyboard so I want those this one here and if I just move this column across you can actually see some of them so there you go zone alarm that's my firewall it's a good one it's free too and this one's my keyboard manager I happen to know that QuickTime this actually checks to see if you've got the latest version Google desktop now this is one that some people find actually slows down their machine, particularly older machines. If you've got a lot of files, it's always doing stuff in the background. However, if I wanted to get rid of that, I'd want to go to Add or Remove Programs, which is in another one of our tutorials, to actually get rid of it. Because if I switch it off, it'll probably come back on anyway. But here's the Adobe Reader, and I can just tick on it. That will now not start when the computer starts. Don't untick anything that you're not sure of. So let's have a look at this one here, RTHVCPL. I have no idea what that is. So one thing I can do is actually use a search engine such as Google. So I'm just going to start that. We come up here and it was RTHVCPL. I do a Google search and it comes up here. And I can immediately see from the search here that it says real tech sound cards. I now know that that's actually the sound card in my computer. So I want to keep that. So I'm going to close down Google because I know that that one's actually OK. So you can actually go through and check what you've got and use Google search engines. They are your friends. They're very handy and you can see what each one of them does. In this instance today, the only thing I want to do is switch off the Adobe Reader. Now your list might be a lot longer. You might also have some that have got nothing written here or here they're not good that could mean there's something gone wrong with your computer or you've got a virus or something untick it and then run a virus check anyway so once you've done that you just now need to hit on apply and when you click on close it will ask you to restart the computer or exit without restarting it in this instance i'm going to restart it and then you'll see what happens when the computer starts up and in many instances you'll find your computer is running that much faster particularly if you've been running and having loads of things and on the website I've got a list of some programs you might find that are worthwhile turning off they're programs you want to keep on your computer and ticking them doesn't delete them and you can always retick them if you want them actually to come at startup because you find them useful for example there might be CD burning software such as Nero that starts up in the background you might have something that synchronizes your mobile phone or your personal organizer. All those sorts of things can slow the computer down and you can just access them as you need them. So I'm just going to click on restart. Okay, well now that you've restarted the computer, you get this system configuration utility message box and it comes up so that you can make other changes. If I click on OK, we'll go into that system configuration utility that we saw before and you can tick and untick. So if everything's OK, you probably can ignore that. If you want to carry on working and not see that box, just tick this box here, click on OK and you're done. And hopefully your computer should be starting faster now. Other techniques you can use, defragmenting your hard drive and there's a tutorial for that. And there's also adding more memory to your computer which can significantly speed it up. If your hard disk is running out of space, you might want to think about putting a new one in. You can either get a professional to do it for you and again we've got a tutorial that shows you how to add an additional hard drive and in some cases you might want to replace the one that you've got as well so keep a look out for those and 
give this a go. As I said, be careful. Don't untick anything that you're not sure of. If you don't know, ask somebody or look it up on Google. If you're still not sure, then it's best to leave it alone. Computers can generally, a lot of people say they were faster when they first got them than they are now. And it's these startup programs that can make the difference.